All right, what's up guys? It is G4D in week 17 of the regular season of season two of the online franchise with my EA buddies. We are EA alumni. We used to play there, we used to work there. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of work. And uh, here we are a few years later, still grinding it out online in Madden. And we love it. And what I don't love, you know what I don't love? Is my record right now. Choking up, losing record, six and nine, folks. That hurts, that hurts. Luckily, I get to blame the computer eagles, the robot eagles, because I did not play all my games. Although I did lose some. Uh, to some human opponents. Tonight though, I am playing the Bucks and they are a human opponent. We're about to get it going underway. Real quick, I have to peek at his roster. I have no idea who's on his team. So let's go peek. I do have Josh Freeman. I wonder if there'll be any bad blood. Bad blood. <laughs> Computer players don't have feelings, right? All right. Bucks, bucks, and bucks. Oh, okay, I think yeah, this guy was a rookie. He's, this is a top draft pick. What'd you get at? 93. So short, medium passes. It's good. 87 speed. Ah, I hate you. Okay, so he can totally scramble with that. Doug Martin. Fast as Doug. 91. Good acceleration. Pretty damn elusive. Good carrying. Decent spin move. Decent juke. Alright, so, you know. Doug's pretty good. Oh, there's the invite. Let me flip through this really quick. Uh, I just want to see what. He only has four receivers. That's interesting. Uh. Vincent Jackson, I'm guessing, is going to be his main dude. With Ogletree really fast. So the slot receiver is going to be fast. He has a 90. Russell Shepard. Ooh, look at those stats. 90 agility, 91 acceleration, 83 catch. Route running. Wow. I don't know why this guy is third on. This is the depth chart. So this is third on his depth chart. Gotta watch out for that guy, Russell Shepard, number 89. What's this wide receiver? Ah, interesting, okay. So he doesn't have a lot of wide receivers, and then he has one of them playing <laughs> tight end, okay. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I wanna check his linebacker, or his uh, corners right here, see if I have, so he has Darrell Revis, of course. Um, and it looks like he probably will play man or zone coverage. I can beat him. Should be able to beat him. Got to jump in the game, so I got to cut it short. Should be able to beat him with my fourth, uh, my fourth wide receiver should be able to beat his fourth cornerback. So four wide sets I'll definitely look at. I'm also going to be looking at uh, that new uh, scheme that I uploaded uh, out of the gun for gun formation uh, weak halfback spread or something like that. You could check out uh, my previous video. Um, I go over kind of the plays I'm going to be running today um, in my no huddle. Uh, so I, I looked at some plays based around some really good plays that I like and I wanted to really round out that no huddle offense you know, with my play action, my passes for short, medium passes, long passes, uh, and what defenses all of those are good against. So I did that, all that in my previous video. I show you the formation, the name of the formation, all the different plays that I have in there in my custom playbook. Uh, so you can go and check that out. And hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that very well for you right now. Um, I'm going to try to lock down his, uh, the middle of the field. I'll probably try to lock down, actually, I'll probably focus on Vincent Jackson and Doug Martin. Right? Pretty basic. Uh, number one receiver. Uh, number one uh, 
halfback. Didn't get to look at his stats. I don't know what his tendencies are. But based on his uh, based on his numbers from his ratings, that's a, ooh. that's his strength. All right, so I'm gonna come out right away. And I'm gonna come out. I'm not gonna do no huddle right away. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. Normal halfback week. This is my formation. Come out and then draw. Now let's like get something great going. Or see something, catch him in a bad offense. I'm probably gonna just see what his base defense is. Looks like he's in a nickel, 4-3 nickel. He's in a, I'm gonna keep going. He's in a 4-3 nickel, and he's. It looked like that was cover two, man. Um, now he's in a. Where are you in there? Should be able to get McCoy on this one. Oh! All right, so he's pretty good at switching his defenders there. I'll try this play action. So let's say he's in a 3-3 with the safety down. Alright, I'm going to come out with the no huddle. I want to get my run plays in there. I didn't change my audibles, which I really should have done. In fact, I'm going to set them now. I hate it when people do this, but I'm kind of depending on it. Uh, challenge, medical, settings, control. Can't change my audibles. Oh my god, really? Can you change that? Settings. Oh, that's weak, dude. Okay, never mind. Guess I'm living with it. That sucks. Because I had a couple plays that I really liked running that weren't in there. Primarily um, this one. This one was sick. So he didn't. You see how he already picked his defensive play. So he, he already know, knew where he's going with that. Yeah, buddy. So it looked like he was in a, uh, a zone there. I was able to beat him up. Oh, he's blitzing. Ah! He was blitzing hardcore on that one, man. So, third and 11. I'm going to try the slot post. He's showing me he's off coverage, so I think he's going to be in some kind of zone. Tried to get that against Revis. Felt a little bit of lag. My timing was off. It was a little bit early. Ah, uh, 53 yards. Fourth and 11. God, I'm such an ass. I'm going for it. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it at this play too.
that pass was supposed to go like 40 yards downfield. I don't know what happened to Josh Freeman. I guess he really can't throw on the run. That sucks. Really sucks. <laughs> Not cool. We call a little run blitz there. Be able to stuff that up. Back screen. Actually, I I audibled into a cover two sink. I meant to get into that cover three, and I couldn't audible right away. Which my guys got set again. Threw me off. I wasn't able to get to that short zone. I kind of felt he was going to go to the halfbacks there. He had two good halfbacks. So third and two. I'm going to expect him to run, even out of the, the three wide. So I'm going to use her my safety over here. My biggest liability. Oh, it's Dick Ha ha ha. Dang it. Turn Cole got the got the ankles there. Shoelace tackle, but I really felt that my strong safety could have hit the right angle to really put a hit on him. It's good to know. Third is short, ran to the outside. Thirty-two. Mm, I'll try to catch him again. You probably saw some daylight there. Yeah, Hendrix. You guys like the music? I switched it up today. <laughs> Three wide receivers. I'm gonna get over into a dime here. Do a little man line. And I will use her over over tree. Underneath him. Underneath him. Oh my god. Close. So close to that. I was pressing Y. It was just out of Maiden's reach, man. Woo! And that's one of the ones where he kind of sees it. I'm a little bit out of position, but sometimes my guys, I got kind of enough speed that sometimes I can get those just out of reach. Maybe if he had better hops, I'm not really sure. Show him a little bit of a different rough this time. Yes, I'm liking the run stops on first down. He's got to be getting frustrated. That's three stops that were pretty good on first down, so hopefully I'm starting to deter him from the run game. It's always a situation you want to get into. And I'm going to guess that he's 
we'll come out with some good pass coverage now. And I'm going to bet that he is going to be guessing that I'm going to be run blitzing again. He checked out of something right there. Damn. Couldn't quite get around that guy. Six yards. A bit much. A bit much. Third and four is definitely manageable. One of those you can pass. I think he's gonna pass. So I'm gonna show him a whole lot of run. Woo! Ryan's is hit sticking. You know, I did have, that's funny, because I'm pretty sure I had a spy on that. I didn't see him kick out. Dang it. Four wide receivers. Now, he has been successful passing, so I don't know if this is going to be a pass or some kind of you know, fake and a run, but I will play the underneath guy here. Yes! The Blitz got there, loving it. Cheryl. Didn't go for the fake. Very nice. Very, very nice. Three wide. I'm gonna try a sink. I'm gonna try a cover two sink here. I'll get over this uh, slot receiver. Got it, huh? You didn't get it. Hmm. Caught up in cover against my dude. Couldn't quite switch in time to get there. In a really bad situation now. Uh, off the turnover, I should have had some points. Audible, eh? Ooh, we caught that? Ah, oh, dang it. I was trying to cover two guys out there in the flats. I almost had it. He just wasn't looking there. Ah. All right, well played, sir. Very good drive. into that uh, formation. Let's see, where did he run? He did run a mix of plays. I'm going to come out with a draw again. Two tight ends. See what formation it gives me. I was coming out. He came out in the nickel last time. Switched up. He did do some run blitzes on first down. Looks like he's in a 4-3. See if I can catch him in the in the scene here. Didn't quite feel confident. He had a single safety there. Didn't quite feel confident. I I was conservative. 
Probably could have put it in there, but I didn't. I don't think I've run this play actually. We have two pulling, uh, pulling tackle and a pulling guard. That edge, I couldn't, probably could have still gone around it. Alright. Let me get a first down. How about a first down? He's ready for a first down. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna give me net press man coverage. If he does that, I have two hooks. He doesn't do that, I have a scene. Wish me luck. Need to hold on to that ball, buddy. Alright. Let's break out this uh this bug sweep. What the fuck is that? He has five down linemen? That's weird. Let's see how they do against this. Yeah! Even with five down linemen, you could. Woo! You could see that uh, all these dudes are sucked up there in the middle. And so. The fast enough dude, you can get to the outside. And you've got those two big hogs blocking for you in addition to your wide receiver. And even if you're not that fast, like you saw, you still use some precision juke. And get her in. Oh, that felt good. But I gave him a whole lot of time, but still, it felt so good. I love it when a plan comes together. Play some defense. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be past that dude, right? Do I come out now in a dime? Yes. With no running back. It is dime time. And let's see if I can get him into with the blitz here. Take him out. Go to Ogletree side with Joseph. My biggest liability. Dang. Kooks. Keeks. You're supposed to be there, man. He has to go over the middle, huh? Alright. Good to know. Middle is about to be taken away. Or do I blitz? Stick on him. Wow, he got that off. I almost took a time out. Surprised I didn't get to him because I, I had dudes coming from that side actually. I don't know if I go. I think I want to go full, full coverage here.
Oh my god! I broke on that great! And I'm way faster than Vincent Jackson, we still got it. That's some crazy shit. Yes! Oh, we got it. Wow, he fumbled that? He must have been tired. Probably a ground fumble. Alrighty. Putting in Ricky Sapp. Okay, overturn. That's great. Don't care. Seven, one timeout, 27 yards, 17 seconds. I guess he's going to go to the outside here. But. I'm still going to stay on top of this uh, slot receiver here. I call time out, there's no way he's in there. Now, does he field goal? He does. Well played, sir. Well played. Time. Oh, I forgot that was my half. Dang, that turnover kills. <laughs> Look at the big man move. Switch someone close. Not bad. What's he gonna do? Then bring six. And one pray. Get that. Forty one yard line, he's punting. Well no, you believe him? Take it. 
All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of my uh, oh my pistol crazy run formation and see what it gives me. Ooh, he's in a four four. I kind of really want to exploit that. Ooh, might not have to. Might not have to! Look at this! Woo! Bryce Brown! Yes, sir! He's got to be frustrated. Those two outside runs? Man. Man, oh man. Whew, it feels good. It hurts so good. Oh, hit that. Hit that. Mmm. Barwin, Chung. Foam at the mouth. Oh, he's got to be frustrated. I, I think he's going to pass. Pass in frustration, that's my guess. Nice. Be able to contain him there, force him back inside, which he's, he's really good at. Pretty good agility in there. Um, but, but yeah, then he uh, was able to kind of just play with him a little bit and off my blocker and contain him. That was pretty sweet. Okay. He's got to be mixing it up here, I'm assuming. Woohoo! He wasn't. He was going underneath. Ah! Ah! Yes! Snipe that. Yeah! Alright. So now, seven yard line. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna stay in the full house. And I'm gonna give him the same off tackle. See if he can handle it. So he's in a 4-3, looks like. I'm going to go to the right side now. Oh. Almost had that. I need, I need a little juke there for him. And Josh, give me a juke, Josh. Alright, I should be able to zone read block those. Ah! Ah! Dang it. Third and goal here. I'll do a deep curl. Try to hit hit Bryce Brown on this guy. Got to shorten these. Shorten these hooks here. Wow, still didn't get in. All right, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Let's see if I can't be, uh, let's see if I cannot be Cam Newton right here. Hmm. Just all those great divisional playoff games, Panthers, Niners. Eleven points, the long run, the interception, the punt before that. It's got to be getting frustrated. Frustration could take him off of his game. Having him force stuff in the passing game. Third quarter, plenty of time. That's why ball. Um. That looked like frustration right there. I do know he has kids, so maybe the kids are distracting him. Maybe I'll let him use that as an excuse. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play pass. He did run the first time. Guys, Fletcher Cox. He likes running in the tackles better. Out of the time, I'm pretty sure he's, he's going to be uh, running and oh, passing. Decisions. That weakness. Couldn't couldn't break through the line with my safety there. Usually, even on the play action, or especially the play action, I can get in there. Let's try to play a little uh, little run D here. smells like a run to me. Nice. A lot of slants there, man. Yes! Nice! Did a little his own man combo there with the spy. Because I knew he was uh hmm, eleven points. Do you kick it? Doesn't. Let's see if I get him in the same one here. Taiwan Jones <sighs> hasn't seen defenses like that. All right. Uh, 
These guys don't quite get over there for me. Let me see if I can swap these guys out. I can get Kelsey in there. He's my fastest dude. And now... I'm going to run at the middle, switch it up. Then I'm going to try to run with that counter again on the outside. And... Uh, see if we get better results. That defensive end is sure coming off that tight end quickly. In that case, I'm going to put Cox out there. And Selleck out there. Okay. He's pissed. Jesus, dude. I'm like stuck. I can't get off my guy. Just kind of glide along in this. Blitzing. This is still four down territory here, so. Yes! That dude sure was shooting in there fast. Alright. I'm gonna try to catch him right now with the play action. Jackson over top. With Revis. She doesn't look like he wants it though. I'm gonna make it soften him up a little bit again. Wow. Mike Cox did not get that. That was his responsibility there. Do a little halfback sub action here. And we do a play action. You gotta imagine he's playing cover zero. And cover zero um, works really good, man coverage. Cover zero uh, works really good against those uh, comeback routes, so mm, that's why I switched to the hook route. The hook route is just like universally deadly. So it's like McCoy still a little tired. I try a quick baser. He's in like, what, a dime formation? Wow, that guy's looking way bad. He did not read the defense there, which I really should have done. So... Forward on this one. Oh, 
That lag was killing me, man. I did a juke, didn't happen, did it again, and sure enough, they were suspended. Position. I think that's who he's using. He's, he's moving all kinds of people in. Floater! Of course, he's a little tired, and I'm a little butthurt about his fumble in the last game still. So, I'm going to keep him out of the game again, and I'm going to try to get some, oops, some curl action going. So I guess when the corners don't have anywhere to run, they will jump on that route. Oh! Yes. Did you see that block by by uh, Todd Harriman's there? Pancake. Beautiful, beautiful way to seal the outside, man. All right. McCoy was fresh. Should have blocked some tackles. Even if he got hit. Very glad Bryce Brown did not fumble on that huge hit. Huge hit. Well, that puts it in the books. This losing team just beat a playoff team. How about them apples? Hit sticks. I need them. Alright, so what are you going to do, dude? Shields. Alrighty, do I kneel it out? I don't know. I'm just gonna run around some simple stuff here. If it wasn't about experience points, I would just kneel it out because that's the game. That guy sure got his block for it. extra meat out there. Two big tackles as tight ends. Let's see if we can seal this off.
All right, that's the game, folks. The two long runs by McCoy and Bryce Brown. The interceptions, the confusing defense, the run stops, all leading to a victory for Josh Freeman and the Philadelphia Eagles. And the fans are excited. The fans are excited to be 7-9. and nine. Oh, ugh. I think I just puked a little bit in my mouth. Oh, man. Well, this was a disappointing season, to say the least. I had a lot, of, a lot of distractions off the field, and so I wasn't able to play all my games. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more done next season and win a little bit. If I can win my human opponents, if I can beat all my human opponents, I should still be able to get into the playoffs here. This is that beautiful, that beautiful run by Bryce Brown. And the run by Bryce Brown is good, right? But the blocking is great. Moment of the game. Still need to know how to, I forget how to flip into the end zone. Jeffrey Laurie, Chip Kelly, congratulating each other. 187 rushing yards, folks. That will do it. All right. So let's take a quick look at the stats and let's get up on out of here. <clears throat> rushing yards. I love that number. Anything over like 130, I feel really, really good about. Um, he got 89 yards. I felt like I did a little bit of a better job. I'll have to check some details on that. But holding your opponent to under 200 yards passing is great. Under 250 is great, I think. Uh, of course, he did the same thing. Huh? I chose to run because it was being successful. But this is the key, right? Turnovers. Turnovers. I did have that fourth down conversion. That counts as a turnover in my book. I stopped him on fourth down once. I got a punt out of him. Counts as a turnover. Only through 13 times. Seven, 69 completion percentage, 9.2 average. Mm. It's all right. Let's see. Three interceptions, one touchdown. 64 completion percentage. Oh yeah, his quarterback scrambling. That's what helped him. It took me a little bit to get to get that. He stuck, he stuck with the run game. That's pretty good. He stayed balanced. He made me uh, respect the run game throughout, you know, through the end there. Definitely command respect when you can do that. Alright. Is it Kobe 4, really? Man, I'm in the flow of the game. I really don't pay attention to who's getting what. I'm just trying to get one step ahead of my opponent and adjust, adjust, adjust. So it's, oh, interesting. Mac ran out that drop. The guys are cold though. Got the icicles on him. Spread the ball out though, not bad. Let's see. I think I stopped Vincent Jackson. I don't remember seeing him too much. Yeah, not bad. He was going over the middle a lot. That's what I remember. And I sniped. My cops with the not bad. You see the fullback getting it done. Sam Shields had a good game. Most tackles, not bad. I think he had a pick. Charles had a tackle for loss? Didn't he have a sack? No, he didn't have a sack. Sapp had a sack, which that was kind of on a scramble when he dove at him. Taiwan Jones, Luke Keithley, and Sam Shields. Not bad, guys. Two at the end there when he kind of had to force it. So a little bit of garbage time action. But I will take it. Sam Shields with the pass deflection. 
A forced fumble. Interception. And five tackles. I don't know, guys. That's pretty close to game ball. Ricky Sapp with the forced fumble on the quarterback. Beautiful. Let's see what the Bucks brought. What did the Bucks bring? Fumbles. One pass deflection by Darrell Revis. Ooh. No picks, no sacks. So I think he was usering this guy. I think that was the guy who's knifing in there in the middle. It's a safety. Not bad. Alright. Those are the stats. And that's how it goes down. And that's painfully how the season ends for the Philadelphia Eagles. Season 2 is now in the books for me. I will be trolling my friends as they play the playoffs. I will be trying to uh, give them as much trash talk as humanly possible. And uh, I'll be egging them on to get onto the off season, get onto the draft, and that's where I will pick it up next time. Hopefully the equivalent of Michael Vick retiring last season does not happen again. And that could totally happen with, like, Trent Cole, D'Amico Ryans, who I love, but he's getting up there in age. I also have a lot of risk on the offensive line, man. Jason Peters, Todd Harrimans, um, and Kevin, uh, Evan Mantis are all really old. Uh, so, as much as I love to just draft straight defensive players the whole time, I might have to fill some big big needs on the offensive line. I've been grooming guys, but they're not really there yet, you know? They're not ready for prime time, so. Anyway, this is G4D signing off week 17, season two. I will see you next season. Peace.